We all know that we are in a transformational and transitional kind of state with artificial intelligence. So we were from something like what I'm showing you as generative AI to something like that in 2022. I want to talk about like how we got there. One of the things that we discovered is that we, we actually broke classical statistics. So classical statistics was telling us that as we increase the model size of these artificial intelligence systems, then the accuracy of the models increases up to a certain point, and then afterwards it actually fades away and leads to overfitting those kind of problems. But in the new era and deep learning actually showed us that after kind of the first bump of accuracy, we have another increase, and then this new regime is called overparameterization regime. And in that regime, we get great generalization and all these sort of capabilities that you've seen so far and great robustness in terms of like perturbing the input of a system then expecting it to perform a decision making very well. I want to call models that are in this regime or flavors of models that are in this regime as generalist AI. What do I mean by generalist AI? A generalist AI consumes a large corpus of data and transforms it into an abstract and reusable representation plus a couple of programs that are encoded inside this system. So the whole generalist AI is basically a combination of this knowledge graph and a couple of programs like regression, retrieval, and uh, logics and transformations. These are all inside one gigantic neural network. As a result of that, they can actually generate many more kind of tasks as opposed to like just one task. Now, different flavors of generalist AI are out there. So one of them is ChatGPT, as you all know. And uh, there is a stable diffusion in the vision world. And then there is Gato, a generalist AI by DeepMind. And this is basically a multimodal kind of presentation of generalist AI. And we have liquid neural networks, which is our invention at CISO. I would say uh, the components of a generalist AI are scale, structure, and in case of like ChatGPT, a lot of human feedback. Stable diffusion used scale and structure as part of its development. And then the Gato agent is a multimodal, multitask, and multi-embodiment kind of technology. And we have liquid neural networks. These are systems, neural networks, that are actually inverse scaling, but they can learn an adaptive representation of the world so they can stay adaptable. I'm going to show you two refreshing applications of some of these methodologies and conclude my talk. The first one is from the world of finance. I'm going to show you efficient frontier. So in this problem, what we're trying to do, we're trying to maximize our expected return given a couple of assets then on the given level of risk. Okay, so if we increase the risk, we obviously can, up to a certain point, we can increase our returns. And there is actually a line that upper bounds basically how much you can make profit given a level of risk. I want to ask an artificial intelligence system just by providing it a set of asset classes and a set of weights, then I ask it to write down for me a program that computes the efficient frontiers for me. So the output of the system was this Python code, and this is actually the output of the system. So it can actually give me the efficient frontiers. So obviously this is not a financial advice that I'm giving you right now, <laughs> but and please please don't do this at home. <laughs> but but uh, what I'm telling you is to spark some sort of uh, inspiration of the kind of things that we can do with these kind of technologies. Application one, finish in finance. Second one, an application in robotics using liquid neural networks. So here I'm showing you a drone system that is flying in this forest, and we actually flew this drone towards these objects without telling him what is the objective of this task. We collected around 60 trial of trying to actually move towards the target, recorded the states of the drone, and also the visuals. And then on the button, you see a liquid neural network extracted what is the essence of this task. Why am I doing this? Because we, I have to look at the target in order to complete this task. And that's what exactly happened here. As we see, a liquid neural network, as soon as it sees it learned to focus on an object in order to perform decision making. Now, what I want to show you is that these objects are all fixated objects. Now, what happens if I move the objects? As we see, the system, without training further, 
with 30 neurons, it is being able to generalize to kind of cases that it hasn't seen before. So we are very excited about this technology, liquid neural networks, and all the other flavors of generalist AI systems. And I hope today I kind of inspired you to actually look into many aspects and many kind of things in your own field that you can actually enable with generalist AI systems. Thank you. Thank you.